Hi guys, it's Chantel here. So I got another process video for you guys today. I'm working on one of two page spread <laughs> uh, photos here that I'm showing you right now. <laughs> it kind of. Um, my husband and I took a trip to the city and while we were there we actually went to see the ice castle in Edmonton. So yeah, those are what these photos are from and yeah, I had a fun uh, doing this layout. I had no real, um, I had some of an idea of what I wanted to do, but I really didn't have a plan. So right now you're seeing how um, I want to layer each photo with some colored cardstock in the background. These colored cardstock are from Stampin' Up. The pink one is called Blushing Bride and the purple one is called Concord Crush. I don't know if they still have them. But anyways, I really liked how they went with this collection. The collection I am using is uh, Bohemian Dreams by Coco Vanilla. It came in a past clit kit a while ago, so I'm finally getting around to use it. I figured this would be a perfect time for me to use it because it's got a lot of pretty colors in it. <laughs> so I wanted to bring in the purples and the pinks and all that fun stuff, even though it is pictures about ice. <laughs> So each picture is going to be matted with, uh, one is, right, well, this one here, it goes pink-purple, and then the next uh, photo I'm going to do the opposite of that. I'm going to actually do purple and then pink. I just wanted to change it up just a little bit. So, <laughs> why not, right? So that is what I'm doing here. But yeah, no, those ice sculptures things are really neat. I'm sure they have them all over. But yeah, it was really neat to see. It's crazy how, you know, it's just the right temperature and ice or water and just the way they spray them down just makes the coolest effect, right? So we had such a blast going to visit, although it was really kind of chilly that day, but they do have a fire there, so that was pretty cool. drink of my coffee. So there, I am officially done matting my photos there. Um, uh, and they don't match, they're not the right size, which is okay with me for that. Um, here, I, I wanted to use this, I am trying to get into mixed media a little bit more, and I tried this and it just, just didn't roll. <laughs> just didn't come out the way I wanted it to so I decided that I was going to punch out a couple snowflakes because I wanted to put some snowflakes on this layout since it is about winter or snow or ice whatever you want to say but I didn't want it to be too theme like if that makes sense so that's what I'm doing here uh, this punch is actually from Stampin' Up I don't know if they still have it at all I know it's a little bit hard to punch out, so I don't know if I have to sharpen it or if it's always been like that. I can't remember. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to find a couple snowflakes that I know I will use on my layout here. Uh, these are the papers I'm going to be using. Oh, it was so hard to cut them up, but you have to use them. So this one is called Abstract by the uh, Bohemian Dream Collection. Um, I knew I wanted these papers to be up front and center, if that makes sense. So that's why I don't do much with them. This one is called uh, Gypsy Heart. I knew I wanted those hearts, and I knew I also wanted to, you can see what I'm doing here, wanted a little bit of that blue to pop through so I'm using both sides of that paper. I'm going to place it at the bottom of my layout and then I get the idea that I'm just going to tilt this big piece of paper to the side and then add those two at the bottom. I thought that would be really neat for something different. I don't normally do layouts like this but I thought why not change it up just a little bit. I'm actually loving it the way I laid the photos right now but unfortunately I don't glue them down that way I end up doing it this way but it's funny when you go back and you look at your video you're like why didn't I stick with that that looks cool too so maybe another time I'll have to do a picture just like that 
So right now I'm deciding which snowflakes I want to use. So you'll see me fuss with that for quite a bit. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how I want everything to go. And then once I do decide, that's when I start gluing everything down. But yeah, I kind of fuss a little bit. You'll see my hands go back and forth moving things around before I finally decide what I wanted to do. I thought maybe I could flip it the other way, but those hearts just were getting lost on the page. So yeah, now I think I've finally decided. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm still thinking. Every time my fingers move is when I'm thinking. And then I'm like, you know what? I'm going for it. Let's do this. So I start gluing everything down. Oh, I even love that purple side. Oh, this collection was gorgeous. So now I'm coming in with those last two pieces. And my final one. <laughs> Sorry, don't know if you heard my tummy growl there. So I'm gonna come back in and put my photos down. Still making sure that's where I want everything to go and it is. I really do keep this layout very simple. I don't even really put on a big title because I've got more pictures. I've kind of did my layout out of order. This will probably be my second page for my two page spread. So I'm not really worried. Just keep deciding is that where I want those snowflakes to go in a way I did feel like they were kind of getting lost with that pattern paper but I knew I wanted to have snowflakes on there for sure just to you know when you think of ice you know snowflakes stuff like that I still want and stuff like that so here I am just cutting down a piece of paper I want to add something to the top right and I'm just trying to see what I wanted to do. I really love that paper that I used in the back there, um, the abstract one, but I just, uh, it was just too much. You'll see in a minute here, it just, and then I cut up um, another sheet of their paper. Oh, I, I didn't write it down, I do apologize. It's um, the one with all the cut up parts on it. And here I'm just trying to see what would look better. The purple ends up looking really cute and the tag reads moments. I knew I wanted to use that here. I'm going back and forth. See, so still trying to decide which snowflakes and where if I wanted to change it up. But I really did have my heart set on the snowflakes being where they were originally. But here's where I gave up. So I just decided to take a little break for that for now and just work on that little cluster at the top. And then I found this beautiful, which I think was from their um, ephemera pack. So in a way, this title, I guess, would read Moments Beautiful. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to worry about it. So I am really liking how that's going. So I'm going to glue that paper down and then add that cute little folder tab. And then, of course, that other ephemera piece. I just think it's cute. I'm also going to trim that off and then I'm going to come back in with a little tiny staple. For, I think I'm looking for it right now, yeah. I just love that look and give it a couple and calling that part done. And then, <laughs> of course, going to uh, fuss with those snowflakes. That would have been cute too, or, well actually, no, I do end up putting it there, yeah. I like this way better instead of having them all going down the side of the paper. Um, the kit also came with a couple of acrylic pieces, so I am going to glue a couple of these hearts. I'm going to sprinkle them in between the snowflakes. I thought that was really cute. I thought it was fitting for my husband and I. And they're just so cute. Using my, the glue I have in there is just Tombow in there. And gluing them down. Ah, 
I'm also going to come in with um, some paint. I really want it to add, oh, before I do that, sorry, I'm going to use my roller date stamp. This is the Heidi Swap one. Oh my goodness. Um, to write the date on the bottom there. And then, like I said, I'm coming in with some paint. This is nothing fancy paint. This is just paint that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It is just called Lavender. And I knew I wanted to add splatters to it and I forgot how much fun acrylic paint is. So I'm gonna water it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to sprinkle it all over the page and oh, absolutely love how it comes out. It even does little, um, well, you'll see splatter lines and stuff like that. I do get some on the photo, but I'm not really worried. It doesn't have to stand the test of time. So yeah, and then I'm going to come back in and do little sprinkles with my scissors here. And oh my goodness, it is so cute. I thought I was going to just end there, but no. I am <laughs> going to come back in and do even more on the other side because it just looked absolutely gorgeous. So that's what I'm going to do here in this next bit. And then I'm going to call my layout done. If you guys have any questions, as always, leave them down below. Other than that, I will definitely see you guys in my next video. Bye.